Fighting fire is no easy task. The work often intense and physical, but that is not stopping about 10,000 women from joining their male counterparts on the front lines. There is one big difference, their gear, the fit, a lot of different from women than men, of course, right? Just right? like clothes. Yeah. But now, as Sophia Hernandez shows us, one Florida State University professor is working to change that, researching how gear made for men can put female firefighters at a disadvantage. With every zip, pull of a boot, gear and, everything in it. and tug of a coat, and these volunteer firefighters are preparing themselves for the toughest of fires. The more comfortable we are in our gear because we live in it, pretty much, the better off we are with it. But the gear they count on, known as a turnout suit, doesn't always have their back. But they're too big, see? There's a good side view of it. They're way too big for me. That's where Florida State University Assistant Professor Meredith McQuarrie comes in. She's devoted her life's work to helping firefighters perform better by improving what they wear. These three layers, also known as bunker gear, is worn each and every day. The heat's already a barrier. Um, the chaos of the scene is already a barrier. If you have a better fitting suit, your shoes, sure your fit's not gonna come out of your shoe while you're going up the ladder. It makes a stressful situation less stressful. Shoulder flexion and extension. McQuarrie's research puts suits through rigorous tests, measuring the fit and restriction of mobility for women. They weren't able to even lift their leg up to get onto the apparatus or the truck. Very simple things that you need to be able to do, especially in such a high pressure, high stress job um, that's very physically intensive. McQuarrie recruited 16 career Tallahassee firefighters for the research, 10 men and six women. Each had at least one year of experience. She used sensors and a data logger to measure their mobility. So, for example, we would have some double-sided medical tape. Uh, we would place this on the body as so um, with the wiring in the middle. And you can actually flex your elbow in and you'll see that that wiring moves with you. The five movements translated to this spreadsheet showing the key areas where women and men differ in range of mobility and comfort. Based on the sample size that we had in our study, female firefighters certainly need improvements, especially in the shoulder, bust, chest region, as well as the waist to hip region. Those that were not in the study agree with the results. When you would go to do this, it'd be kind of tight across your back. Coat size for my chest is too big for my waist, so there's a bunch of extra fabric right there. McQuarrie and a colleague now working to collect a wider range of data with funding from a FEMA grant. It is already a male dominated industry, so to be further at a disadvantage based on the improper fit of your personal protective clothing is certainly something that is avoidable, right? We can fix that, we can address that, and, and we certainly need to. McQuarrie says while her studies show it's not just women who feel restricted, it's the ladies who are underrepresented. Females are not just smaller, shorter versions of men. As they gear up and prepare to save lives, these women hope to one day have the attire that won't hinder them from safely fighting a fire. In Tallahassee, Sophia Hernandez, WCTV Eyewitness News. McQuarrie says turnout suits on the market today cost anywhere from $1,500 to $3,000. The goal with continued research is to present a new sizing system to manufacturers to help make the proper suit.